Hi, my name is Michael Frazier. I'm with Live Ball NYU, and we are talking to NYU students about course registration. So I'm going to give you a course title, and I want you to tell me what you think it's about. Um, like the evolution of fashion design, maybe? I don't know. Um, it's about art that has to do with trees that look like animals. I don't know. <laughs> Designing robots that look like humans. Um, anthropomorphism is... What, giving human characteristics to non-human things? I'm not sure. Uh, um, so talking about animals and how they talk to people. This course examines the way that different animals' coats and textures have influenced the world of fashion. And the class is called 20-somethings. It's a Gallatin course on clothes in the 1920s. It is a CAMS course on what life is like when you're 20, you're in your 20s. Yeah, it's a CAMS course about life in your 20s. I guess it'd be about like 20 questions or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the class is like about people in their 20s. No, 1920s, the decade. <laughs> um, I think it's about the 1920s and um, like, all the like cultural movements that happened in the 1920s, like Art Deco and jazz and flappers and feminism, all that stuff, and prohibition and uh, women's suffrage, probably. So what do you think the course, The Thingliness of Things, is about? Well, it's about postmodern thought and just, you know, our rational being. Thingliness of things. What does it cover? Learning about things in different environments. And the thingliness of them, right? Yeah, and how they affect each other. Right, because there's so many things in that things. have other things. Yes. And you have to know about the things with the things, right? Mm -hmm. And all things. Right, and all things. Have thingliness. It's about things. I would guess that it's a, a philosophy course, maybe about phenomenology. Uh, the thingliness of things, this is... I don't know, I feel like uh, a course that investigates objects, so probably philosophy, yeah. The Green Dream. It sounds like about ecology and the environment. And like, make it, like, I don't know what utopia would be like for, you know, our, not economy. 